To download GameMaker, we're going to go to GameMaker's website. Open up Google.com and search GameMaker. It will be the very first result right here, GameMaker.io. Click here, and this is their website. Now, it might look different depending on when you're downloading it, but the button we're looking for is in the top right corner called Download. Click right here, and now we can download GameMaker. For the latest version, just click on the icon that matches your computer. So if you're on Windows, right here is Download. If you're on Mac, it's the Apple. If you want the LTS or the long-term stable version, it's under here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Download for Windows, and I'm going to click Save, and it's downloading, and it will be finished right about now. To install GameMaker, find where you've downloaded the installer. In mine, it's under Downloads, and it's called GameMaker Installer. I'm going to double-click on that and start the process. It's going to ask if I want to allow this app to make changes to my device. Go ahead and click Yes. And then it's going to unpack the data. Now, I'll walk you through step-by-step step what you need to do while you're installing this. So the unpacking takes just a moment, and then the GameMaker logo pops up. We have to agree to the license, so go ahead and click I Agree. We can choose if we want to put Start Menu shortcuts, Desktop shortcuts, and if we want to associate GameMaker with specific files, I will leave all of those checked and just click Next. Then we choose where to install it. The default location works great, so just click Install. And now it is actually installing GameMaker to our computer. The install process takes just a moment or two. There we go, GameMaker's done. I'm going to click Next and Finish. When you load up GameMaker, you're presented with the Start screen. And this Start screen is broken up into three distinct sections. And if it's your very first time, you've also got this setup wizard. I'm going to go ahead and talk about what we're doing here. So I'm going to click Don't Show Me Again and Close. Now the three sections that we have are Get Started, Recent Projects, and the links on the right. So if you're ready to get started, we can click on New and we can choose a template to get going with. If you have a project already, you can open it or you can import a project. If you're looking to learn, you can also click on Tutorials. This will link you out to the GameMaker Tutorials page, which has the most recent and up-to-date tutorials from GameMaker right here. You can also check out their YouTube channel over at GameMaker Engine. You'll find videos for everything that you could possibly want to learn about. On the right-hand side are the links. So if you want to check out their blog, you can do that or read about or explore some of the templates or games that they've been putting out recently. They're all right here. When you click on new, you're going to be able to choose a template like blank or space rocks, or you can choose a complete game like towers versus monsters or windy woods. These games are full projects that are ready to play around with, learn in, and even extend and create your own game with that you can then publish all on your own. Pretty cool. We also have learning templates like Space Rocks, which you can click on this link right here or follow the link to the YouTube channel, and it will actually include written instruction and videos to follow along with for making your very first game and everything you need to know to how to do that. So let's go ahead and click on Space Rocks, and under project name, I'll give it my first game and I can choose where it goes, and then click Let's Go. It's gonna download the template and take me into GameMaker, and that's all you've gotta do. No need to make an account. You're ready to start creating. Although GameMaker doesn't require you to create an account to make and play and test your games, there are still benefits to having one, such as being able to access the GameMaker marketplace and export your game onto different platforms. So when you're ready to make an account, you can start the process from right inside of GameMaker. In the top right corner, you'll find this little person icon. Click on Login. From here, you can either log in if you have an account, or you can click on Register. When we click on this, it's going to open up a browser window for us. Here is what it's going to look like. We can register and sign in, click on this, and then it's going to give you the option to continue with an email you already have, or create a new account. Let's click this, and here you're going to put in your email, your passwords, and if you want to get exclusive offers from Opera. 
And then when you're done filling it out, click create account. It's going to redirect you back to your Opera account. And you can choose your Game Maker preference here. And now we can return to Game Maker and click sign in with our Opera account. It's going to load up another window and we can choose that account we just created for us. And it logs us in automatically and returns us to Game Maker. And now we've signed in successfully. Once you've signed in, you can then access the marketplace, export your games, and purchase subscriptions to then be able to export your games to every available platform, including Xbox, Microsoft, Nintendo, your phone, and more.